Mrs. Harris? Brian Buchanan. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I, see Gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, so your house is still standing, so. It is. We had two little strips of aluminum siding, and that was it. it started right here. They just had their house oh, re on Saturday. We were lucky. Oh, that was quick. So. <laughs> Where are you now? I, I live in South Texas, so. I'm up here to donate some money to the police department for this, and then. Uh, Good for you. Taking video to show my friends back home so they can see, and then. Uh, hopefully when, get, when did you get here? Uh, a couple two days ago. On uh, Saturday. I mean, it looks good now compared to what it yeah, did. Yeah, that's what I'm I, sure you've seen pictures on yeah. you know, on Facebook and stuff. That's what, yeah. Uh, Coach, I, I saw Coach Thompson the other day, and he said it looks awesome compared to the way it did the other oh, day. It does. So. It does. It's, I mean, we had debris, and I mean, it's just, uh, the city's been unbelievable. Yeah, I heard everybody. The police, it, the city, the, the fire department. Volunteers. Yeah, we were hoping to volunteer, but the time we got here, I guess they, they weren't taking any more. So, yeah. uh, so at least I figured I could videotape and show the guys back home. So hopefully, raise a little more money for Are the you a policeman down border patrol. Yeah. So we're trying to raise money for the for the guys here. You Is know? that a pretty dangerous job at this uh, point? It can be, yeah. But we uh, we're at a checkpoint, so it's pretty uh, pretty safe. Yeah. Can be dangerous, but you know, yeah. we're well trained, so. Gosh, are you on Facebook with Amanda? Yeah. 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 All you kids have grown up so much, it's like, oh, I know. oh my gosh, I hardly recognize all of you. Yeah. I'm Mrs. Humphrey now. Did you know oh, that? Oh, you know, I didn't know Did that. Did you forgot? Well, you're always going to be Mrs. Harris. So. I, I, I know. <laughs> I tell people, I said, just call me Mrs. H. It works both ways. There you go. <laughs> you got a family? Yeah, I'm married, two kids, two boys. Uh, actually, my boy's birthday was yesterday, so he had a little party for me at Mackey's. And, what fun. Yeah. The so, old, the old yeah. time. How'd you end up in Texas? Just border, border patrol? Border yeah. I, once I graduated, uh, I was at, on queue working, and then... Uh, you, did you work with Joel? Harris, my son. Yeah, uh, he, was, uh, he worked it on Cube when he, he went to out to junior college for two years before he transferred. Yeah, uh, and he was down there for two years. So yeah. I knew there were just a just a few of you who worked. There. Yeah, there wasn't many of us. Yeah, yeah, and, and he's like three or four years younger than you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I know Joe. So, he's on my Facebook. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's there. Well, we've got our house up for sale. Oh. I, Jamie uh, is a banker. He's works out of the big bank in Marion right now. Yeah. And, uh, I retired about five years ago oh, and they awesome. made that offer to all the teachers. I mean, it was like, I, I hadn't even thought about retiring. Yeah. And that's when about 28 or 29 of us went out. Man. Uh, and, and, you know, none of us were even, we were all in our early 50s and they said, okay. So I sat down with pencil and paper. I'd have to work another eight years to make that kind of money on yeah. a retirement. So yeah, it wasn't you can't pass it up, right? No. But I loved what I was doing, so yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to get involved. Uh, I, Jamie's planning on retiring, and we're going to hit the Jacksonville where Joel is. Oh, okay. And uh, that's a nice area. I'm hoping to get in with Wounded Warriors because that's where they're oh, based. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. And I'd like to do some work with them. Yeah. So. I wasn't really ready to quit working. Yeah. <laughs> well. But the job market's tough. Yeah. You know, for young people, and they need jobs yeah. worse than people my age. Do. Yeah, you know. Yeah, same thing's happening with my mom. She's been with Kmart for 27 years, and they're trying to get all the permanent staff out and just have part timers. But I don't know if that's a wise decision. But yeah, they should, her her job is safe so far. But we're good. Oh, so, it's safe yeah. That way. But where's your mom? Is your mom? They live in East Tennessee. Okay. We're heading there later today. So. Okay. Well, I've got a, a friend who's a pharmacist at Kmart in Charlotte. Yeah, uh, North Carolina? Or, uh -huh. Okay. And she just, uh, she was in a pharmacy and she was getting ready to start a family. She was working 12 hours a day and she goes, I I'm not doing this with a young family. Yeah. So, now your wife is from where? Is she? she She's from Texas. Okay. Yeah, she's Maybe actually, her, her town is, is a border town. Now, where are you living? And uh, near Corpus Christi, Texas. Okay. So Is that south yeah. of in San Antonio? Where is two it? hours south of San Antonio. Okay. Right. Yeah. I got family in San Antonio. Yeah, we actually go there quite a bit. Yeah. So. First first large city, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cor Corpus is about 300,000, which is right is there it? where we live. And, but then San Antonio is, is, of course, bigger. Yeah. And Houston's three hours away. So. Well, I'm so glad you stopped. Man just mentioned your name a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, we, we, we talk on Facebook sometimes. is down in Missouri, Springfield, yeah. Missouri area, uh, and they were just all together.
together. Yeah, that's not good. Too, you know, they don't see each other real often, but often enough to really, you know, keep their friendship close. Yeah. Which is nice. So. Yeah, that's good. There's a lot of kids your age still around here. Yeah, I you know I, I call you kids. Right? Yeah, but I, you'll always be <laughs> yeah. kind of like I'll always be Mrs. Harris. Yeah, you guys will always be kids. Yeah, I know it. So <laughs> yeah, it's been good. We, we got to see a lot of a lot of people we hadn't seen in a long time, and oh, yeah. uh, so oh, yeah. And I bet the police force really appreciate it. Yeah, it's I, I want to donate today. Uh, our, our state police have been great too. Yeah, I've seen them driving around here I mean, protecting they, the neighborhood. They actually have sat at all the entrances. For Two weeks. Yeah. They just opened this neighborhood up on uh, Saturday. Yeah, well, we came through Saturday. We got here Saturday night, and I noticed there was a parade through here. And we were driving around trying to find friends that needed help. You know, yeah. we could help volunteer or whatever. Yeah. And I felt bad driving through here because it because of the parade. You should have seen it yesterday. It was bad. They were, I mean, it was bumper to bumper. And I, I haven't even been to the other places in town that have been here. Yeah. This has been so hard to yeah. deal with, you know, and you almost feel guilty coming down the in your car, you still have a car, you still have yeah. a car. Yeah. You know, and I've tried to help. We have a lot of people in their 80s who are in homes and in hotels. So yeah. I've been cooking and taking food to them and having them here to eat and doing laundry wow. for them. And those poor people are looking at, you know, a year and a half, two years. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, and they're elderly. I mean, you know how hard it is to be in a hotel yeah. for an extended time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I live out of those things, you know. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, Gaskin City, yeah, a lot of that is a lot of elderly, you know. And, uh, yeah, it really has. It, it's, you know, uh, a lot of people have insurance, but a lot of people don't. Yeah. Uh, so everybody's trying to help those that do and don't. Yeah. You know. Well, that's good. Well, we're going to keep trying to help down there, you know, keep trying to send money up, uh, send to the police so they can distribute they it. Yeah. yeah. And they've been doing a toy drive, I saw already. Yeah. They always do a toy drive every year at yeah. Christmas. And some of these kids, you know, that lost everything. They lost everything. Yeah. Uh, and it's really, I think, I, I, I have heard now that monetary donations are really the best thing you yeah. can do. Yeah, we. I tried. I thought about you know like looking at the list of items they needed and then bringing it up in the trailer. But then I'm like, you know what? Just give me money and let them. Yeah, let them figure it out. Yeah, you know, let these kids have new clothes and yeah. uh, mm-hmm. new stuff. You know, so. Well, you know, we have lost a life, but we're really lucky we didn't. Yeah, very people. lucky. When you see these houses, you wonder how these people. Live. Yeah, and I've heard the stories. You know, I, I talked to McPeak when he went through it, and he's yeah. Yeah. just lucky. Jamie was here. And, uh, uh, you know, being right at the edge is really, you're still, none of these people have heard the train sound. No. That's how much at the outer edge of, he said it was just like a big vacuum cleaner trying to, he said the entire house shook and it was just like a big vacuum cleaner trying to suck the house up. Huh. And everybody here says they heard no train. Yeah. Everybody right at the edges of that heard like, you know, people half a mile away could open their door and hear the train sound, but people either in the vortex or at the outer edges can say that they can hear that sound. Yeah. So it's, as they all say, it's something they'll never forget. Yeah, oh, definitely. Well, I don't think anybody from Harrisburg will, even if you weren't here, you know, you still no. feel it, you know. In fact, I tried to get home on that Wednesday and couldn't get a flight out. Yeah. And I flew out the next morning, and when I got to the airport, everybody in the airport was moving up, standing up. Yeah, watching. <laughs> and it's like, wow, and I lived there. Yeah, yeah, I was there too. <laughs> I, mean, you know? I could see my rooftop every time these yeah. helicopters would go over. I could see that my house was intact. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I could see uh, the Patton's house and Dr. Yusuf. I guess if Dr. Yusuf still is yeah. there. Yeah, um, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. I saw their house on, on CNN. Yeah. And it was just amazing, you know. And to be 18 hours away and seeing the stuff, you know, and not really can do anything. It's horrible on TV, but it's even worse yeah. when you come through. I mean, I didn't get here until Thursday, early Thursday afternoon. And I told somebody who's not from here, I said, you know how those disaster films, people are just walking around. They're lost. It's the way it was Thursday. Yeah. And, uh, of course you couldn't. and then you had to prepare for another one on Friday. Yeah. You know. Thank God that didn't hit here, you know, but and that was even It's amazing as many people 
heard those sirens and skid and then some people. Well, you know what? I got home from work about three in the after, three in the morning, and I was checking Facebook, and somebody from Harrisburg put, "Oh, I, those tornado sirens woke me up again, or something." And they're mad that the sirens woke them up. Well, the lady out here on the other side of Dockport, Sherry Dimmy, yeah, she woke up with her walls and her glass. She was still asleep. She slept through it. Well, one of our friends slept through it too. Slept through the whole thing. But her house is apart. I wonder if she uh, woke up, saw the house was down, and just went right back to bed, you know? Just <laughs> she said she didn't even, she never heard it. No, didn't even hear it. Didn't hear it until everything started tumbling down. So, yeah. Well, I'm sorry in some ways for my husband. I was here. I mean, I was beside myself on the so he cried all day. Yeah. It's... He said, you just cannot imagine what this is. Of course, no one could get in or out because of the trees and houses and roofs and things were all over yeah. the streets and yards and, you know. I, I read the other day that Mayor Butler out of Marion said that Marion wouldn't be as, uh, has grown as well as it has if it wasn't for that tornado in the 80s. So they said. No, I heard that, but I kind of have a hard time even hearing it's, it's kind of It's kind of hard to, to believe, first of all, but. Uh, Marion's grown. Oh, you man. We, yeah, we went, we went over there to Mackey's. I'll and, tell you, that man is in his 80s and he is. He's done more for that community, yeah. and he's still as clear-minded. And every time you say, they say he's going to talk on TV, you think, you know. And, and, and of course, that can happen at any age, right. particularly to be that elderly, yeah. uh, and to be able to do the things he's done. He's done some great things for Marion, so it's yeah, it's does. a nice nice turn to really. And most of our friends, a lot of our friends live over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So a lot of people. Matter of fact, Brittany lives there now. Yeah. She said. So. Yeah. She and Amanda are good friends. Oh, yeah. Um, they're together when they can be. And yeah. See each other when they see each other more at home. And, yeah. Uh, but I feel sorry for those people having homes. Yeah. Not having homes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Come I bring. Back again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hopefully, I never get a vacation where I stay here. This is the longest I've been in Harrisburg uh, since I've been here since Saturday. So it's the longest I've been here. Well, come back but by. It's my dad's birthday. We're gonna go see him uh, in East Tennessee, and oh, he'll love that. Yeah, you so. got the kids. Yeah, we've got our kids, and they're gonna. It he'll was. Love that. I'm so glad you stopped. Yeah. I mean, I had people come by here. It was funny the other night when we still had the state police not letting anybody have a curfew. Yeah. Jamie, there's people on motorcycles here. Oh, yeah. He goes, gee, that's all the way down on 45. When you turn your bike around, uh -huh. stop right there by that metal water thing in the yard. Yeah. And look how oh. far you can see all the way past 45. Oh, no kidding. Man. That's crazy. Walk it, I mean, yeah, I'll do that. Do stop there because you can see. Well, I got my camera. I'll take a picture that way, and uh, people can see. And that way, yeah. uh, I want I want you know my friends back home in Texas to get an idea of what's going on here. And yeah, I mean at any intersection going out of this neighborhood, you can see it. But it's amazing you can see it all the way through there. Yeah. So we'll be careful. Yeah, I will. Tell Have a good trip back. Thanks. Be safe. Tell Amanda I said hi. I
You got a blocked off here? Am I able to get around over there once he moves? I used to live here, but I live in Texas now, and you guys are doing an awesome job. Awesome. Came home to see, you know, what happened and try to help out, you know, so. Yeah.
Chris Cox. Yes. Hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> What's up, man? I seen, seen your name up. I guess your son's birthday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, doing good. Slaving away. Yeah, I see that. Ride that thing for miles, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Still in the biking, man. Yeah. It's faster now. A lot faster. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Still doing it. Yeah, is, isn't this stuff just crazy? Crazy, yeah. I've been driving, I've been riding around. I've been recording. I'm recording right now. So the, uh, but I've uh, been riding around and uh, filming the damage and stuff. And it's unbelievable. Yeah. So unbelievable what a few minutes will do. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to Roxy last night. She said you've been an awesome help. Yeah. She. I was first person to call. Yeah. I, I, I don't even think the wind stopped blowing. <laughs> like 5:20 in the morning, she calls me and says. I got a tree <laughs> in my driveway. I need a chainsaw. I said, huh, well, I still sleep. You know? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I said, okay, and I have a small saw. Yeah. Reason being is I don't like using them. Yeah. That's a lot of work. And uh, I went, went there, my wife and I, and I was like, every tree in our yard is five foot across. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are some old trees. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I got her out of her garage and drove through her yard with her Lexus between yeah. all, all the trees and got her through the road. And then uh, I said, it's going to take a lumberjack saw. I yeah. said, what you need to do is call Jay Heron. Oh, yeah, but Jay. I didn't know Jay's house was yeah. destroyed. Yeah. Never, I mean, I, it was, I was, I come in the back way and I never even noticed the rest. Yeah, you know? the whole neighborhood. Oh, it was awful. And uh, I said, it's going to take a thousand dollar saw. Yeah. I said, go get it. Okay. Those logs were five foot across. I had a three foot bar and I had a couple on both sides. Man. And we went to you know, out yeah. down the way and got her through. And this is the rest of the old tree trimming guys. Yeah. I got you out. And, uh, then McPeak said it's through the garage now. Yeah. So I come on over here and, and they, they bought him a new one, but I fixed it. Yeah. Stood it back up and yeah. saved some money there. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you've been busy for a while. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just doing Roxy's and then this apartment building behind here. Yeah. And that's it. I'm, I'm done. I, I work with my, my wife. She, she's an archaeologist. And yeah. We, we, we go and dig holes and oh, wow. stuff and get things. That's awesome. It's an unbelievable. You travel, you travel a lot for that? Fun. I mean, really, it's, it's not hard. Yeah. It's a lot of walking. Yeah. And uh, but it's, it's, it's easy. And anytime any coal mines or state highway or any anything is done, you have to call her first. Oh, uh, she has to go out there. And she has to make, sure, make no... sure that there's no no sites. Wow, that's and awesome. If there is is a site, then you go to phase two and you dig a meter square. Yeah. With backhoe every 20 meters. And until you don't get a shovel test. Okay. You know, phase three never happens. It's, that's where you actually find something that's. You get it all. Yeah. Know, like, 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 a, uh, like a hole, in, like where, where they're actually living. Most of the time, it's just where, where they camp. Right. You know, you know just hey, like, hey, hey, travel. Yeah. And, uh, You, usually she and I, but you know, if we both work on opposite ends, then we won't make twice as much. So yeah. She says, ah, I bought, bought a four wheeler so she doesn't have to walk as much. Yeah, that's you know. good. <clears throat> and, uh, Calvert City, in Kentucky, yep. found, found a site there and stuff. Yeah, near, near Purdue there. Yep. Just right. Where I used to go buy her wheels and rims. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wheels and tires. Calvert City. Yeah. But uh, she uh, found the old, oldest site. All the Indians just past this is two changes across the river. Yeah. Don't want to predict it because you look left uh, out there in, in the field, uh, it should have went phase three, but instead they decided just to move over and build a barge, you know, thing yeah. somewhere else because it cost hundreds of thousands. Uh, but that's, that's the yeah. old, oldest Indians, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Is this? Yeah, that's my that's my gears. My 
Yeah, so I ride like this. It's, it's a tri bike for triathlons. Yeah. So, uh, awesome. yeah, it's, it's a comfortable ride doing it this way, I think, you know, yeah. that, uh, rather than standing up. So. It's awesome. I've never seen it that close. Yeah. My ex wife's boyfriend, he used to do all, all the not nothing bad. He used to do just like the little road race, the one day yeah. in the middle. Yeah, we, we do those. We do a lot of charity, charity rides. Yeah. Uh, the most we, we tried 100 miles uh, a couple weeks ago when we only got 70, but it was raining. Very high winds, 30 to 40 mile per hour oh, winds, and it was tough. So yeah, we, might as well be uphill. Yeah, we knocked out 70 miles. Yeah. So, just it, my wife and I, so it's, we're happy with that. Oh, yeah. your, your wife? Yeah, yeah. yeah, she rides also. We, we, we go hiking and kayaking, and back, actually, I bought another kayak last time with my brother. Yeah, how's he doing? He's, he's fat. Oh, is he? Man, he's he fat. was skinny last time I see him. Check out the hotel by 11. two kids, you know, it gets a little pricey to fly, so yeah. we, we, we drive, we enjoy the, the driving. Yeah, we, we all always drive, we have a Prius, Yeah. and then I've got, I, I just bought a, a uh, four, four door, one, one ton, four wheel drive, power stroke diesel, or, or not power, power stroke, Duramax, yeah. and uh, it, it's been shipped from Arizona. Yeah. We was going to fly out, out there, yeah. it's 200 bucks a ticket, and I was like, let's fly out. Christmas, I hate spending that kind of 
trying to mon money cash and not getting a look no, at yeah, it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I've researched their, their feedback and, and stuff, and a lot, lot of them were shit, and they were fine, fine with them. So yeah. We'll see. Alrighty. It'll be like Christmas or like a bad Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Stay, Chris.